I'm whispering, and this video is starting out kind of like turkey season videos, but it's actually July the 25th. It's uh, 4.44 in the morning, and today is a special day because we're going to go out to John Andrews and help him work on his farm and planting some food plots. Now, this is, this is different territory for me. Uh, a buddy of mine and my grandpa used to have this little lease and we tried to do like a couple little food plots where he scattered some stuff but it was not very successful but uh but he's he's got a farm as you as you know we, we turkey hunted on quite a bit and uh so we're gonna he's got a tractor and we're got some seed and again i'm new at all this but uh it's it's exciting this is uh in terms of deer hunting this it's a very popular thing uh, i think um in terms of you know if you do have uh, some land um or you lease some land you know trying to manage it to the best you can to um provide good quality food and, and habitat for your wildlife which you know can result in you know some big deer and things like that so anyway i'm excited to be a part of that process so right now we're just making a little coffee we're going to load up the cooler and uh, go get our stuff together. And uh, yeah, meet John Andrew out of his farm. Uh, got the drone this morning, so hopefully we'll show you some cool drone footage. And uh, yeah, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, I missed you guys. How you been doing? Hope you're having a good summer, staying safe. Um, we're so close to deer season, y'all, already. It's time flies, so we're excited. And uh, yeah, we'll see you here in a little bit. We're here with the man, the myth, and legend, turkey guide and turkey healer extraordinaire, <laughs> Mr. J.A., John Andrew. What are we doing today, old pal? Try to keep from dying. <laughs> the heat. That's the number one goal. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. It's been a scorcher in Kentucky. I feel like all week it's been like in the 90s, like upper 90s. I don't know how true that is, but it, it's been pretty hot. But, uh. I've never done any of this, so I'm excited to put a little feed down for some deer. That's what we're gonna do. All right, y'all, quick update. We uh, got a couple steps this morning that we're gonna do. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to plant food, food pots, but just kinda, it's new to me, so I thought it'd be cool to document. Uh, uh, first, we're, we're doing something that's not so new we're going to take uh got like a mineral rock some different things going to put in a few different places and put some cameras out just to kind of see uh what we can get some pictures of and then from there we're going to uh pick some different spots throughout the farm Ooh, gotta lean back here boy we're going up a hill um we're going to pick some some spots across the farm basically different areas spread out um and it starts with mowing mow down a spot and then basically uh, tear up the ground and uh and plant your seed it's kind of the short explanation of what's going on so yeah that's where we're at we're going to this first spot again like i said gonna put out a mineral block here out a camera and uh, see what we get some pictures. We actually just saw three deer over here right then. Um, we kind of ran off as we came out the house, so. John said if they're gonna get corn, they're gonna have to work for it out of him. As you can see, we're our first spot here. And uh, like I said, this property, um, just like any property, you're gonna have 
wooded areas and field areas and so forth and so on so we're just taking a couple of those uh john andrew's been doing for years now and uh basically the first step is mowing everything off coming back and tilling up the ground and then planting your seed so he's doing all the hard work i'm basically just standing and supervising <laughs> is what we'll say now uh having a good time though this is this is the fun part the process you know one of the things we talk about on the channel which is important to us is to show you the process and this is unique for me because i've never been involved in like a in this type of uh i guess preparation for deer hunting i've run cameras before i've put out some corn and things like that but uh but you know planting food plots and stuff is pretty new to me and it's really really cool it's really interesting to kind of the work that goes in in the off season it's you know just like an athlete you have off season training and you know and uh prepping your ground and running cameras and it's just that much that that part is equally as fun to me it's really cool you know getting out here and sharing fellowship with my brother and um man this place just brings back so many awesome memories from this past turkey season and uh, if you haven't seen those videos, I'd encourage you to go back and watch them. They're amazing. We had an awesome turkey season. You know, uh, they're not big, well-produced, you know, outdoor channel type videos. It's raw. It's real. It's shaky footage. And some sometimes you get the kill shot, sometimes you don't. Uh, but we had a really good season, and we're super pumped about it. Hopefully this deer season will be equally as good. And we're also planning to try to go to Colorado to elk hunt. So lots of cool things coming up here on the channel. That's part of the reason I wanted to get on here and talk today in this video is to share kind of an update. I know we haven't put out a lot of videos and I, I apologize for that. Just been kind of slow this summer, just been enjoying family and not been doing a ton of stuff that anyone would necessarily want to see. But, um, but just having a good summer, you know, crazy times we're living in, obviously. But uh, we do have been shooting some bows. I've been training, trying to get in shape uh, for Colorado and just, you know, in general, just be healthy. Um, and we do have some some cool reviews Uh it's going to come up some first light gear and some matthews and hoyt bows and things like that and so I'm going to be talking to each of the fellas that's going to colorado showing you their kind of setup and gear and walking you through the process of going out west from an eastern uh perspective which is pretty cool sorry for the noise i don't know how loud that tractor is going to be but my first tractor y'all john andrew taught me how to drive a tractor i'm on a big green tractor <laughs> you can take a ride on a big green tractor this is awesome this is this is cool I, i'm getting to i'm getting to experience new things and it's really cool man john andrew has been such a blessing to me like this past year like with turkey hunting and like with deer hunting and and not just because he's you know I'm, I'm with him and hunting with him on his place or anything like that of course it's part of it but just the bond we've shared like all the things he's taught me and giving me these new experiences it's really cool quick update it's uh we're a few hours into it and this is our third spot we're mowing um we finished up the one hit another one now we're at this one i think this may be the last and final one that we're going to do uh but again just mowing everything down then I'm come back up and break up the ground and go from there i'm, I'm learning as we go so John Andrews is like my, not only is my friend, but he's like a mentor as well. Showing me the ways of turkey hunting and deer hunting and uh, some even some management stuff and 
farming stuff with the tractor and planting. It's, it's been it's a really cool experience. folks so as you can see step number two in this process is uh, basically just tilling up the ground we got it good and good and mowed and taking the uh, the old tiller and uh, you can see breaking the ground up good and nice and um, of course like a from from what John Andrews taught me, like like the more you if you plowed it up and um, kind of kept going over it and kill all the weeds out, and then so like the more you do, obviously the the better your uh, your end result's going to be. Um, where he's kind of had these food plots in this area, this ground's kind of used used to the what's going on, so it's already kind of broken up. It's already kind of got in that rhythm i don't know if i'm making any sense uh but because of that he's able to use just the tiller to kind of break up the ground and hopefully we can maybe plant after this uh and see what happens i don't know if he'll have to go in and kill more weeds or break up ground again i'm not real sure we'll just kind of play it by ear and see what happens but but yeah so far it's going real nice it's our last and final spot John Andrews has trusted me on the big green tractor. He's got the drone back there getting ready to work it up and we're gonna basically till this ground up right here.